Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can load OpenStreetMap data into a Postgres PostGIS database and actually work with it in QGIS. Um, so you can see here, QGIS is uh, struggle, struggling to draw all of these millions of points uh, just for the Western US. Um, and that's understandable because there's a lot of data. So actually, let me, before we go any further, I'm just gonna filter this down and just show you kind of what we can do with all this data. Um, just so you can see that it's actually useful to use this. So I'm just going to add a quick uh, query, a query builder on here, which is basically just going to filter it out so we don't see all that data. Um, so for example, let's look for an amenity, which is equal to, um, let's see what they have. So I'm just querying everything that they have. Let's just look for restaurants because I looked this up earlier. And where I just saw it a second ago. If we double click that and then click test, we should see that there are 31,000 uh, rows. So 30, there's 31,000 restaurant features here. So I'm just gonna click okay, then click apply and okay. And it's gonna redraw and this time there's not so much data. There's only 31,000 points instead of uh, millions. So we can just zoom in here and we'll take a look and we'll click on one of these points and just see uh, see what, what actual restaurant it is. Um, so let's just give this a second to catch up and I'm gonna click on my identify tool and just click one here, for example. So that's a Pizza Hut. So we got a Pizza Hut here. Um, that one is not described. The Palms restaurant. So anyway, you can see it, it becomes pretty useful that all this data is open source. It's constantly being updated every single day uh, and you can download it for the entire world. So it, it becomes handy um, and you can work with it in PG admin, for example, and, and do queries. So this is just a query looking for the restaurants and it's, it's counting them all up. So you can see there's this many Pizza Huts, this many Denny's, um, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, actually, how are we gonna do this? So I just kind of put a, a text file together about the steps that are involved. So first, we're gonna download and install Postgres and PostGIS. So Postgres is the actual database. Um, it's an open source enterprise database uh, capable of handling millions of records. Um, so we need to use something this uh, capable. And then PostGIS, that's an extension for the Postgres database that lets you work with spatial data. So anytime you need to put points on a map, you're gonna need something like PostGIS. Um, so once we have that up and running, we're going to create a new database in Postgres called OSM. And you can see here, I have one called OSM. And what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna pause the video and just totally uninstall all this and then restart the video. And we're gonna start from scratch and I'll show you how we, how we do all this. Um, so we create the new database, then we enable PostGIS, enable the HStore extension, which I'm not exactly sure what that does. And then we're gonna use this OSM to PG SQL tool to actually load the, the, the data into um, Postgres. Um, and that's what this tool is right here, OSM to PG SQL. Um, but yeah, we also need to download some OpenStreetMap data. So uh, this is where we're gonna download it uh, when the time comes. And then once it's downloaded, we use that tool that I was talking about and then we uh, basically run the tool and it automatically imports it and then you'll have uh, your data in a, in a database and then you just connect it to um, QGIS. So if that sounds like it's interesting to you, uh, just keep watching and we will continue and I'll, I'll show you how you can uh, get all this downloaded.